our mission, um, we obviously exist to um, empower vulnerable and trafficked women um, by providing sort of sustainable alternative livelihoods to them in order to help break that cycle of poverty and, and re-exploitation. So what you were saying about prevention, sort of that's, you know, that's really um, the heart of, of how Beulah began. And I guess, you know, our, our vision, our mission is that hopefully, you know, we can prove that sort of profit and purpose can not only sort of coexist, but also, you know, thrive when they're both are done um, in unity. And, and that actually ethical business, you know, becomes the rule and not the exception. Um, yeah. It's quite shocking that when the experts calculated how many people were sold and enslaved during the transatlantic slave trade, it was about 30 million people between the 16th to 19th centuries. And yet we have 43 million people in slavery today. So that's a lot three, four times more right now. So this is the time to take leadership. You're here and that is a brilliant um, statement in itself. We uh, have to all take responsibility. I'm utterly convinced this is a battle that could be won, that my grandchildren won't have to inherit a country or, or, a, or a community internationally where slavery is rife and children are bought and sold. I believe we can win that battle. Uh, it's not gonna be easy. And just, you know, just as Parish was saying, back then we needed a, we needed a Wilbur Force and a, and a small team to move Parliament. Today, we need a nation of people like Wilbur Force who will help to get this done. So don't think you can't be part of it and don't be overwhelmed. This is beatable if we all play our part. And I'll just say very briefly, um, can we all um, move from being casual consumers to conscious consumers?